Welcome back everybody, Fragaline is here. In the last video we took a break from our journey across the regions and we analyzed the most powerful ghost type Pokemon. Today we get back on track to explore Unova. The black and white game served as a soft reboot for the franchise, and with over 150 new creatures, the fifth generation holds the record for the most Pokemon introduced. While it is always praised for its complex, deep story and the iconic characters that inhabit it, I have to say that the Unova based were the ones I enjoyed the least when I was younger. That's why I hope we'll get a remake in the near future, so that I can get to relieve its events with a fresh coat of paint. Now, let's rank the Gen 5 Pokemon. As always, I split them in 6 different categories, which are Health Points, Attack, Defense, Special Attack, Special Defense and Speed. Then I'll pick the ones with the highest base stat. All fine? Let's go! But before we start, I invite you to follow me on Instagram, at Fragalanis. You'll be instantly notified when I upload a new video and even get some work in progress updates. And most importantly, you can chat with me. Let's get back to the countdown. The Unova Pokemon with the highest HP stat is Alomomola, with 165. Many people, myself included, at first thought this fish to be in some way related to Love Disk. Maybe it was the color, the art shape, the fact that they were both border types. Ok, I don't really get why it wasn't its evolution. Unfortunately, Alomomola is so underwhelming that the only remotely interesting fact I found about it is that in the Unova horoscope it is designed for people born in March. Oh, I almost forgot it. Alomomola spelled backwards is still Alomomola. In Black 2 and White 2 we were introduced for the first time to the concept of Pokemon fusions, at least canonically. And when Kyurem is fused with Zacrom, we get an absolute powerhouse that has a 170 attack base stat. This Black Kyurem, despite still being Dragon Ice, can learn Zacrom's signature move Fusion Bolt, and it even gets its own move in Free Shock, a nice type move that can paralyze the opponent. On top of this, its ability is Terra Bolt, which lets Kyurem ignore the foe's ability when attacking. Those Wonder Guard Shedinjas and this guy's Mimikyu's will have a short life. Moving to non-legendaries, with 147 is Axurus that takes the spot the strongest Pokemon. Its high attack stat paired with its respectable speed make it a great threat to any adversary. And guess what? Axurus even has the Mold Breaker ability, which does the same thing as Kyurem's one. They are two great dragon Pokemon that use their attack to crush their opponents. Defensively, Unova has the ghostly Kofagrigus to offer. A coffin Pokemon with a physical defense stat of 145 can stall its opponents with ease and hit fairly well thanks to its 95 special attack stat. Kofagrigus got original counterpart in Galar with the introduction of Unorigus, which has the single most convoluted evolution method ever. The Unovan version is well known for its trapping abilities when grave robbers get too close to them. Facing one must be a nightmare. The special attack stat category is dominated by Kyurem's other form. When fused with Reshiram, it gains an incredible 170 base stat. Similarly to its counterpart, White Kyurem has a signature move in Ice Burn, that can leave the opposing Pokemon with a severe burn. The process to obtain this Pokemon is called Absofusion, which is activated by using the DNA splicers. If we choose to ignore legendaries, the champion in this category is Chandelure. The Ghost Fire type has a special attack based stat of 145, the highest in both of its types. Chandelure is a great offensive Pokemon with a bit of bulk, so you can rely on it when facing fierce opponents. In 2020 it was even voted by fans the most popular Generation 5 Pokemon, and I have to agree, it's one of the best designs in the Unova games. To fend off powerful attacks, you'll need a great special defense. Thankfully, Verizion has you covered. It is a member of the Sword of Justice, with Keldeo, Terrakion and Cobalion. Verizion has good attacking stats and speed, while its special defense of 129 clearly outshines the physical. Also, it has a type advantage over the other members of its group. Grass over Keldeo's water and Terrakion's rock, and fighting over Cobalion's steel. The non-legendary option in the Unova region is another grass type, Ferrothorn, with a special defense of 116. If you think that this Pokemon is tough to face in battle, you're right, and it's even scarier when you encounter one dangling from a cave ceiling. Rolling around at the speed of sound, Axelgore claims the title of fastest Pokemon in Unova. Its 145 base stat allows it to be used as a spike setter, or to eat hard with bug buzz. Axelgore's evolution method is quite unique because you need to trade simultaneously a Carablast and a Shelmet. This procedure will make both Pokemon evolve respectively in Escavalier and Axelgore. Essentially, the two swap features and stats during the trade because Carablast steals Shelmet's armor. 
Even though I like the idea of connecting Pokemon evolutions, I'm not fond of trade evolution in general, and hope we can choose an alternative method in the future. Bonus spot. Do you know which Shinova Pokemon has the highest base stat total, ruling out legendaries and pseudo legendaries? It is the fossil Pokemon Archeops, which rocks, pun intended, a total of 567. Coincidentally, this number is its national Pokedex one as well. I believe it's the only Pokemon with this quirk. Unfortunately, while being a very powerful creature, Archeops is dragged down by its ability Defeatist, that halves its attacking stats when its health points get below 50%. He joins the likes of Regigigas and Slacking, which, for balance purposes, were rendered almost useless in battles. And here you have it, the top 6 strongest Pokemon from the Unova region. Right now, on the screen, you can click on any other video from my channel. And as always, thank you for watching. Goodbye.